one of the most important things that you can have inside of one of these, as well as one of these, is a first aid kit. Today we're going to talk about the Bear Independent Cub Pro First Aid Kit, as well as their Slim Kit, as viable SHTF first aid options. In any kind of an SHTF or emergency event, if you don't have the ability to treat wounds or treat critical traumas that might occur during an emergency situation, then you've already failed. Hey everybody, it's Magic Prepper, and today we're talking about the Bear Independent Cub Pro First Aid Kit, as well as their Slim iFact. Now, Bear Independent has put out Bear Facts for a long time, so if you haven't heard of a Bear Fact before, then you haven't been around very long in the preparedness community on YouTube. But Bear Independent's a great channel, a lot of good survival advice there, a lot of good information regarding prepping and getting better prepared and more self-sufficient to not rely on the big government to take care of us all in the event of an emergency. So I've been watching that channel for quite a while and I was on a live stream back in March and they decided to do a 20% off deal on their first aid kits as long as they were green. It was for St. Patrick's Day. So I went on and I ordered a green Cub Pro first aid kit. Now the Cub Pro is specifically designed more with the idea of children in mind because they want to have proper medical gear for smaller bodies, basically. But when I ordered it, they said, hey, we noticed that you know Magic Prepper put in an order and they asked if they could go ahead and throw a slim IFAC in for me as well and just wanted to see if I'd be interested in doing a video about either one of the products. So I said, sure, of course I will because I wanted to get this anyway. So full disclosure, I bought this first aid kit during a, a sale and then this one was sent to me by Bear Independent. And what's awesome is they are also gonna offer all of you guys a 10% discount anything in the store, bearindependent.com, you get 10% off as long as you use the code word MAGIC. So, I think that's cool. And like I said, I bought this because I wanted it, and then this came along for the ride to try to give you guys some better ideas about the different types of first aid kits that they offer over there, okay? Now, if you're worried about SHTF scenarios and you have emergencies on your mind and you're worried about how you're gonna survive something, especially if you ever find yourself with an injury or some kind of a trauma, then hit the subscribe button below because we're gonna keep talking about what it is we might need in those scenarios. And one of the most important things in a bug out bag, a get home bag, even if it's just a emergency kit you have at your office or at your place of work or wherever it might be, you should always have a good high quality first aid kit, okay? So first things first, we'll talk about the Cub Pro first aid kit, okay? So it comes in a Condor EMT light bag, which is a solid quality bag. Condor stuff is totally fine for any use that you or I are probably gonna have. It's gonna outlast anything we're probably gonna put it through, and all the Condor stuff I have currently actually seems to work pretty well. So that's what's in the bag. Now on the side here, you can see there's a Cat 7 tourniquet right here, or a Gen 7 Cat tourniquet, and it's awesome to have your tourniquets all set up, ready to go on the side. Of course, once I get into this, I'm gonna open it and take it out of the plastic so that it's more accessible and easier to use. Um, and it also has the medical shears over here on this side. Now, these are things that you wanna have quick access to, okay? These are seven and a quarter inch medical shears, which will allow you to remove clothing or cut bandages or whatever it is else you might need to do with it. But you want it accessible on the outside of the pack because you wanna be able to get to it yourself if need be. And sometimes trying to open zippers and and you know, clips and locks and everything else can be very difficult. So good thing to have here. Obviously this is meant for being strapped on a bag or even on your belt if need be. And like I said, this one's geared more towards small people. So if you have children or maybe there's somebody that's unfortunately as short as a child in your group, you might wanna have one of these just to make sure you can take care of them and make sure they get back to the lollipop guild. So we'll go ahead and open this up and just kind of see what's inside to give everybody a good idea here. Like I said, this one's OD green. That's because it was part of the sale and I like OD green so it works out, but they have these in all different colors depending on what you want for your loadout or your kit or whatever else it might be, okay? So here on the inside, you can see you have a SWAT T tourniquet, which is a solid tourniquet. And as you all know that this is part of my EDC just because it's so compact and so easy to carry. It's just about as small as a wallet. So you can throw that in a back pocket and be good to go and have some form of bleeding stoppage on your person all the time. So I like the SWAT T tourniquets. Let's see, we also have some other good stuff in here like the quick clot, bleeding control dressing. You know, you can't go wrong with having quick clot. Let's see. So this is a nasopharyngeal airway and this is for those situations where you have to make sure you can get air into somebody's lungs when there's 
an inherent issue going on. So this is not something that I'm gonna be comfortable with using right off the bat. The biggest thing to do with all of these items when it comes to first aid is getting training so you know how to properly use them. And I can be honest with you guys and say that this is not something I have learned how to use or really even know how to use. So I'll be learning how to use this and finding out more information about it now that it's part of my kit. So these are important things for us to learn as people who are involved in preparedness. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend I know how to use every single instrument that's in this kit. If I don't know how to use it, I'm gonna learn how and this could definitely be something that eventually could save somebody's life. So moving on from there, you can have all the things you expect in any good first aid kit, okay? Hyphen vent, this is a chest seal, obviously. You want a blowout kit in the sense of anytime you use something that could cause a wound that would let somebody bleed out quickly, you wanna be able to treat that, okay? Uh, let's see, we've got tape right here. Okay, you can't go wrong with duct tape. Easily one of the better non-medical items that can be used in a medical way. Always good to have. Let's see here. Okay, so these are gloves. Always important to have gloves, especially if you're treating somebody you don't know. Maybe there's somebody in a different group that shows up, or maybe there's a situation that involves treating somebody that you've never seen before in your life. Maybe you wanna make sure there's no cross-contamination occurring. Then we have a Sharpie here. This is great for labeling, especially on things like a tourniquet if you wanna know how long time has passed since that tourniquet has been set, having a Sharpie and a way to write that information down is extremely important. As well as for dressing wounds, you wanna know that you change the bandages regularly and you wanna make sure you avoid infection by changing them periodically. So just keeping track of timing and everything else with a marker is definitely a good thing to have. So one more useful item that you might not have in your first aid kit that Bear Independent put in his first aid kits to make sure that we were all better prepared. Now, I have first aid kits I've built out myself. Lots of them are very similar to a lot of the stuff you're gonna be seeing in here. However, there's not many you can just get pre-built that already have all these bases covered. And that's one of the reasons why I bought this first aid kit was because I've been kind of creeping on their website for a while and figured now's the time. They're on sale. Who can't, you know, like OD Green, it's the best way to go, right? But either way, it worked out because now I have a chance to share all this with you all as well and give you some better ideas about what maybe you're missing in your first aid kit, which is something that I'm doing right now. And so now this is a NAR mini responder four inch ETD. It's an emergency trauma dressing. This is gonna be very similar to things like the uh, Israeli bandages and stuff like that that you see out there. So these are good things to have, okay? Right here we have the compressed gauze. Obviously packing wounds is sometimes the way you have to do things. And then right here, These are abdominal pads, okay? Ab abominable, abdominable. Anyway, these are extra absorbent abdominal pads. And for some reason I have snowmen on my mind. So as you can see, this is definitely more geared towards somebody smaller. It's not a full loadout kit, but you can get the idea of the quality and the thought process put into these kits by Bear Independent to cover every situation you might run into. Um, and you know, obviously there's some things in here you could easily add if you wanted to add a suture kit, if you want to add some sort of medicines or antibiotics or anything like that, that would also be good things to add. However, right out of the bag, throwing this in your truck, having this on your bug out bag, your get home bag, having it on your range bag to be able to treat a wound that maybe you receive at the shooting range. These are all important things and these all come in this bag ready to go for you. So keep that in mind because for me, it was hard to find an all-in-one kit that I could just find online and order right to my door without having to add a million things. And this kit covers most of the bases right out of the bag. So moving on from there, the slim kit, or the Slim IFAC. So now this comes vacuum sealed. And then basically the idea of the Slim IFAC is to be able to store it anywhere you want it to be. So if it's in your briefcase, your backpack, it's in the pouch of the backseat of your truck or something like that, it's not necessarily gonna be fully decked out like some of the other kits, but it has all the stuff you need to get through a first aid situation without having to have a lot of bulk. So that's actually pretty cool, especially because you can throw this in your bug out bag, but you can also throw this in something as simple as your gym duffel bag or something like that if need be. And it's gonna take up a lot less space than something like this does while still giving you a lot of the same functionality. So let's go and open that up. My little baby Bowie here, which you can't go wrong, okay. All right, so, and then I can just reseal this afterward but i want everyone to see what the contents of this are okay all right now slim kit you're going to have another hyphen chest seal vent perfect obviously for blowout purposes more abdominal pads 
Okay, not thinking about snowmen anymore now, am I? Okay, then we also have another NAR Mini Responder 4 inch ETD. Okay, now this is a little bit more interesting, okay? So this is gonna be, give me one second. Don't wanna screw this up and I want you guys to see everything here. Okay. So this is a 14 gauge by 32 five inch needle decompression kit. Now this is a basically a decompression needle for those situations where there um, is internal bleeding or if your chest cavity is starting to fill with fluid and you have to alleviate some of that pressure. Um, we all know that there's different scenarios where these things could come in handy and create a situation where somebody could survive a little bit longer okay so this is something that i also do not have a lot of experience with that i'm also going to be looking into so you know i'll take this and i'll take my nasopharyngeal airway right here and i'll be able to learn a little bit more about how these are um, applied to a first aid situation and it makes me better prepared so sometimes having kits that make you jog your mind and say look i don't really even know how to use this can actually help better well around you for a situation that might occur. Okay, so keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, we also have another nasopharyngeal airway. So this is, like you can see, a little bit of redundancy with the slim IFAC, but without any of the bulk. Okay, we also have a quick clot gauze. Can't go wrong with quick clot. Always trying to stop the bleeding as fast as you can. More duct tape, excellent option, can't go wrong. Another Sharpie, see? See some redundancy here now, don't we? Okay. So here we have some antiseptic wipes, more compressed gauze. We have a survival blanket, which is always good because sometimes first aid isn't just about bleeding. It's not about stopping somebody from dying quickly. Sometimes it's about making sure hypothermia doesn't set in or who knows what else. Exposure can kill you just as fast as some other threats that are out there. So keep that in mind, but that's also a good thing to have. And let's see, it looks like we have more gloves. Okay, we have the bandage. And I believe that I've covered everything at this point. So, like I said, these are good kits. They're already ready to go, okay? Everything in them is well thought out and has all your bases covered. With the Cub Pro, you get the SWAT T tourniquet, the Gen 7 Cat tourniquet, the shears, the quick clot, the nasopharyngeal airway, the compressed gauze, the emergency trauma dressing, the gauze pads, the hyphen chest seals, the roll of duct tape, the gloves, and the light bag with the shears and the tourniquet right on the side, okay? And then with the slim IFAC, you get the quick clot, the flat bandage as well. You also get the compact chest seals. You get the pharyngeal airway, nasopharyngeal airway. You get the decompression needle, which is actually different from what you get from the Cub Pro. You also get the survival blanket. You get the duct tape, the gauze, the abdominal pads, and the antiseptic wipes. So there's a lot going on here, as you can see. Both kits are very viable for any SHTF scenario compared to anything you're going to find at Sportsman's Warehouse or at Walmart or anywhere like that. These are well thought out, good quality kits. And honestly, like I said, I waited a long time to find a good deal on the kits. I've been creeping the website for a while. And on St. Patty's Day, I said, 20% off, you got me, man. But I thought it was super cool that Bear Independent reached out, said, hey, guys, let's help out the Magic Prepper community. Offer them the 10% off with the code MAGIC and maybe give them the slim IFAC to check out as well to see what all the different options are. So I do appreciate that. I wanted to be fully transparent with you guys to let you know how this all came to be. And honestly, if I was going to have to rely on one of these kits during an SHTF scenario, I would feel pretty confident. So obviously, except for maybe with the nasopharyngeal airway and the decompression needle, because in those situations, I actually don't know how to use them very well. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So something to learn, which I will be doing now. Keep that in mind, first aid's huge. Yes, do we all worry about what kind of weaponry we might carry into an SHTF scenario? Yes, we do. Do we think we're gonna use that more often than we might need to use a first aid kit? Probably not, so keep that in mind. First aid is, is extremely important, and if you guys have any questions for me about any of this stuff you see on the table or anything to do with the kits, magicprepper at gmail.com or just leave a comment below and make sure if you go over there to bear independent you let them know that magic prepper sent you and don't forget about the code magic for 10 percent off like i said i don't get kickbacks or anything like that for using the code it's just 10 percent off for you guys and it's just something that they reached out to me about which i thought was cool so if you have anything else to add comment below otherwise that's going to be it for magic prepper now.